everyone, welcome back to Cotto Verdi. My name's Annette and today is a very exciting day for us because we're planting out our ranunculus. I have got seven crates lined up here just off the patio. Um, so that's about 142 ranunculus that we're planting out today. And I've got a few different varieties, one that I'm super excited about, but I only have a couple of those. So I'm going to treasure them and put them in prime position. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you which varieties I'm planting out today and show you how we're planting them. And then I will plant them and or we're with Richard as well. He's going to help me because there's quite a lot. <laughs> um, and then in a few weeks time, I will have an incredible display and I'll be able to show you um, what we've got and how they look. These ones that I've put at the bottom of the arch, on both sides of the arch, uh, Richard is planting a ranunculus called Chamello. And Chamello is this gorgeous, white, pale, creamy, with a tiny hint of blush. Um, it, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous colour and I think it's going to look really spectacular here. It's going to tie in really nicely with the roses that will hopefully be just starting to flower um, as the ranunculus are flowering. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to work. The, the ranunculus may be going over, but I think it's going to be really nice just to have a strip of them at the bottom of the archway here. So round the other side of the archway here in this little empty space here. Oh, Cosmo is so cute. So, <laughs> I'm very distracted by him all the time. Um, in this little bunch here, so with my ranunculus last year, I didn't label them when I pulled them up. So they were all mixed in together and I've got a jumble of everything that I've bought in the past. So none of these pots are labeled, but they've grown back really nicely. So this is going to be a sort of um, mix and match, tutti frutti combination of things like marshmallow and charmallow and everything that I've grown before. It may end up being predominantly pink because I do find the ranunculus tend to come back quite strongly um, with more of the pink colours, uh, but we'll see. I just think it's going to be a lovely splash of colour um, and I think that's a good spot to put them until I start planting out my dahlias because I'll definitely have dahlias here um, when the ranunculus are over. This tray here is a tray of marshmallow. Um, you can see the roots are coming out of the bottom so they definitely need planting out um, but they're really nice strong plants. Marshmallow is a gorgeous, it's like the perfect pink colour, like a pink marshmallow. Um, so I'm going to go and plant these now. I think this is a really good spot for them. Uh, this is a red bud that we have here that's about to come into bloom. And I've also got a peony called Kansas um, in this bed here. And it's mixed in with some other sort of white colors and things like that. And I think it's gonna be a really good spot to put in some marshmallow colored ranunculus. Hi, baby. Hi. Yes. What you doing?
base of the new pergola, I'm planting a ranunculus called porcelain. Now porcelain is this gorgeous combination of blushy pink with cream and some off-whites and just it's just a gorgeous gorgeous combination and I think it's going to look spectacular on either side of this pergola um, until because I've, I've got some gypsophila that's planted down there so until that comes into flower I think it's going to be really nice to have the ranunculus there and I may well leave these in and just see if they grow back. Over here on the patio, this grouping here, these are cappuccino ranunculus and they are the most gorgeous white with pink and purple edges to them. They're so pretty and I think they're going to look perfect there until everything else comes into bloom. Look at that tree peony, it's so gorgeous. Can't wait till all the flowers are out. But down at the bottom here, I've also planted, or I'm going to plant, another grouping of the cappuccino ranunculus. And I think that's just going to be a nice little sort of bunch there. These four pots here are super special. They are butterfly ranunculus, they're called Ariadne, and they are incredible. So first of all, they've got much bigger leaves. Can you see the foliage on these? They're just huge. So I was supposed to have six corms, only three grew. One is sort of okay, but it's much slower, and the others have not come to anything. I don't know why, maybe they're just more difficult. I can see something a pest has been at that one. Let's take that off. Anyway, I'm going to put a picture up of what they look like because it's hard to describe, but they are big and blousy and they're, they're not as full as other ranunculus, but they just have the most incredible presence and the colours of Ariadne are very similar to well, I don't know what they're similar to actually. They're just blush, cream and pink, um, but it's a really soft coloration. Anyway, I'm going to be planting them here, right outside my kitchen, so I can appreciate them um, as much as possible. <laughs> and also so I can monitor the slug and snail situation. If you haven't seen my previous videos, these tulips here are called Tropical Impression and they are just so gorgeous. One of my favourite tulips ever, these and menton. I just think that coloration is spectacular. It's such a warm pink and apricot colour, I love it. This is a ranunculus that we left in last year and it's just coming into flower now. We didn't leave it in on purpose. Um, this whole bed here was ranunculus last year, so we just missed a corm when we were digging them up. This is also another ranunculus corm that we seem to have missed last year. I wish I could remember what the varieties are, but it's very possibly that, possible that this one is porcelain. It's definitely got that coloration. Well, that's about it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, found it fun and interesting. If you've enjoyed it, then do give it a like because it really does help me. And if you want to see what these ranunculus look like in a few weeks time, and you don't want to miss that video, then hit the subscribe button and be sure to follow along. And I'll be bringing you loads more interesting projects and parts of the garden to see in the seasons to come. And I'd really love to have you along. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.